Hi there, it's Marty from the KPU Learning Centers. Thanks for joining me for a chat about procrastination, an all too common problem for university students and also for others who have high demands on their time. Sometimes I think procrastinators are completely average and normal and why would we ever want to change that? But when I help students with this problem, I notice what a difference it makes in their lives and so that's my motivation for talking to you about it today. I don't want to make light of this problem um, because that is what I see so many people do. It really is a significant problem that can lead to distress and much poorer outcomes. It makes potential A students drop to B's, C's are lower, and it really is not funny. So what is procrastinating? procrastination really. According to Steele, 2007, procrastination is to delay an intended course of action despite expecting to be worse off for the delay. Now, why would we want to do that if we knew we'd be worse off? And I think that there are many reasons why we procrastinate, perhaps as many as there are procrastinators. But having talked to many of you about this problem, there seems to be some common themes. You may procrastinate because you are not sure how to do it or because it's not interesting or motivating. Maybe you fear failure, or maybe you fear being too successful. Some procrastinate because it's just more fun to do something else, and it is difficult to study or write a paper. When we take a look at actions you can take to overcome some of these challenges, if you are not sure how to do it, please look for ways to develop your skills in those uncertain areas. For example, you could make an appointment with a math or an accounting tutor or make an appointment with the writing tutor. You could visit the librarian on the research desk or you could find good sources for your paper to help you get going on that good research that you're wanting to do. Or you could make an appointment with a learning strategist. If you're feeling uninterested or unmotivated, take a just do it attitude and reward yourself when you're done. After all, it's reasonable to expect that everything in your life will be fun and interesting. Anyone who has truly mastered a skill or a subject put in some hard work to master it, and you need to do that too. As you think of your long-term goals, will this course help you to achieve them? Will this course change your thinking and expand your view? If you fear failing or doing too well and then having high expectations placed on you over the long term, consider whether the standards you are setting for yourself are realistic or not. What does success really mean to you? Everyone's values are diverse and you need to have values that resonate with your worldview. If you do not know how to sort this out, meet with a learning strategist to talk it through. So let's make a commitment for change right now. From the ideas presented, what can you do? Write it down. Now make a commitment of a date by which you will complete this action. If you would like some more help with your procrastination problem, please take a look at the second procrastination video. I talk about a neat way to support you on your journey to do more work and less procrastination. Have a great day.